Are these second gen Raycon everyday earbuds the best for under $90? I've been testing these out for a few weeks, specifically around sound profile, noise cancellation, and battery life. So stick around until the end of this video and I'll let you know whether or not I think you should pick some of these up. Before we get started, Raycon did send these over to me, but this video is not sponsored and all opinions are my own. First impressions are they're in that medium grade design. They're not super cheap plastic, but it's not top of the line either. I got mine in this sweet green color and the ear tips do match. Speaking of ear tips, these things are pretty comfortable. And if you don't like the ones that they come with, there are four more sizes in the box and I'm sure you'll be able to find a size that works for you. I've worn these for a few hours at a time and they stay in my ears. I would say that they're pretty comfortable. Now the box says they're IP66 water resistant, so they should be fine for working out or if you get caught in a light shower or snowstorm. Sound quality, they do hold their own. There's three main modes, balanced, pure sound, and bass. And my favorite is balanced as my playlist tends to hop around but if I'm in a bass heavy mood, that's definitely the one that I'm gonna go with. Pure gives a little more favor to the mids and the highs, but overall these do pack a bit of bass for earbuds. Outside of the sound modes, there's something that I'm gonna call listening modes. You have regular, ANC, and awareness. Regular is just as it sounds, nothing special, nothing on. A and C is your active noise canceling. These are good for the price point. They block out minor noises and I would definitely use these if I'm working in a public place or I wanna concentrate on something. Now, they're not AirPods Pro, but they are decent for helping you focus on what you're listening to, whether that be music, a podcast, or a video. Awareness mode is actually pretty good. It opens up the sound around you so you could have both earbuds in and still be aware of your surroundings. If you're someone who likes to keep both earbuds in while out in public, I can highly recommend using this. I use this mode specifically when I go grocery shopping so I'm aware of who and what is around me. When it comes to switching modes, it's actually pretty easy. They're all hold functions on the earbuds. so. The left earbud cycles your sound profile, while the right cycles your listening modes. There is currently not an app, and the EQ for the earbuds themselves cannot be controlled outside of your device. So you're gonna have to use the earbuds to adjust these. My only real gripe with these are the touch functions. The functions are not intuitive, so one tap volume up or down, three taps to skip songs, four taps for phone assistant. I usually end up just reaching for my phone to make these changes, which isn't a complete deal breaker, but it is a slight inconvenience. These earbuds do offer multi-point connection, wireless charging, and fast charge. So 10 minutes will give you 1.5 hours of listening time. And if your phone supports power sharing, you can charge it with your phone. Speaking of listening time, these boast 32 hours of listening time in eight hour chunks. I don't live in earbuds, but I do use them frequently, and I can say that the battery life has held up for me. I believe over about the three to four weeks I've had these, I've only had to charge the case once, and I'm not listening to earbuds for eight hours at a time, so I haven't had them die on me yet. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Connecting these earbuds was almost as easy as AirPods. Opening the case, they were ready to pair and connect it right away when I selected them on my phone. Whenever I wanna use them, they connect pretty seamlessly. I usually don't have to troubleshoot or have any drop connections or go through any selection process. For calls, I would say they do just fine. I've taken a few calls on these and the person on the other end has not complained about microphones or sound quality or echoes, which is something that I cannot say about other earbuds that I've used in the past. Now you might be wondering about the case that I have on these. And this was also sent over by Raycon. 
This is a stylish accessory to help protect your earbuds with the option to have an added on strap so you don't lose them. It's pretty durable and I've dropped these several times with no sign of damage. Are these the best earbuds for under $90? I'd have to say that they're pretty dang good. The sound is decent. The quality is definitely there. And if you can master the tap functions or don't mind reaching for your device, I would say that these are an easy winner. I would definitely recommend these for someone who's more of a casual listener or someone who wants to keep a pair of earbuds with them without shelling out a ton of money. Commuters, freelancers, people who work in a shared work environment, you'll definitely enjoy these. If you've tried these for yourself, I'd love to know what you think down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful in any way, do all the YouTube-y things and remember to do the work, believe in yourself, but most importantly, keep creating. Peace.